Lord, have mercy on me. Rabba bante leko shapa la braha das kavai. Ne brende ke beru zaba bale kombre kosi ke perida banta. Le paru zebre hede de balande suka pariada bas. Ambre ke te te rede de gede. A paru zede balaba. Rede de 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 de. Rede de barabala danto rabadanta. Ish ke pe peru da banta. Le ke paru de balaba. May I find mercy. Mercy, oh God, may I find mercy. Oh God, oh, may I find mercy. Oh God, hey, Jesus, Jesus, oh, Son of David, oh, please have mercy on me. Jesus, Jesus, oh, Son of David, have mercy on me. Hey, Jesus, Jesus, oh, Son of David, oh, come and have mercy on me. Jesus, Jesus, oh, Son of David, oh, come and have mercy on me. May I find mercy, oh God, oh, may I find mercy. Oh God, may I find mercy. Oh God, may I find mercy. I, oh God, Jesus, Jesus, oh, Son of David, oh, please have mercy on me. Jesus, Jesus, oh, Son of David, oh, please have mercy on me. Can we pray? Can we pray? Can you pray? Can you pray from your spirit? Mambre Jesu Baras Kabai Reba Bante Leke Rabai Azeke Peru Sedevanante Riba Bante Leke Rede Raba Bante Peru Dababai Zatata Rekete Kete. We need to pray, pray, pray. Charge the atmosphere. Ako Peleteba. Every, every. Oh my God. We need to pray. Pray, pray, pray. Charge the atmosphere. Akapare teteriadaba. Eradadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadad
We are getting there. We are getting there. Charge the atmosphere. We are getting there. Hey, Yama, Rebai, Hababai, Shaba, Aruka Bantelia, Kai Yakob, Javabari. In Jesus' name, we, we are praying. Anything you cannot invest in God is open to the devil for snatching. If your voice cannot pray, the devil can take it. I hope you know there are some people that cannot speak. <laughs> if you know, you know. The Bible says we should give honor to whom honor is due. Today's, <laughs> today's, today's fellowship is going to be, I don't understand. But I know the Lord wants to do something. Amen. Amen. Can we celebrate? The, our father is, is a father to us. If he's a father to me, that means what? He's a father to us. And our mother, she's a mother to me. So it implies he's a mother to us. I call, I call him the eagle. <laughs> and I call his wife the prophetess. Can we celebrate Jesus on the earth? Amen. I can assure you. <laughs> what, while we were praying, maybe two weeks ago, I was praying with the prayer people. At a point, I asked you, what did you see? And we began to check in the spirit. We began to see things. I told you I was praying with some family, right? A family. They are the one. <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah. I don't me, I don't know that when you pray, you have to see. I think you just pray and say in Jesus' name and you will go. But they just, they just ended the prayer and they say, What did you see, man of God? I said, ah. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Once again, can we celebrate Jesus in your life? <laughs> Hallelujah. So before the before the fellowship ends, of course, the ego is going to come up. Maybe he will pray with us or speak to us. Then when we are done, finally, the prophetess, our mommy will come up. Then he will just pray over us. Then we'll share the grace. Praise the Lord. But I want us to pray. I still want us to charge this atmosphere. I want us to charge. I want us to chat. Can you begin to pray from your spirit? Pray, pray. So that God will give you capacity to receive. It's not enough to be around. You can be around and miss what God wants to do. Yes. Lord, enlarge my capacity to receive. I pray, O Skemanan de Siadavash. Merus Kebra and the Liko Baru Zebelante. I co pate le Zuzi Barus Kebra Hadavash. Reba Bante le Combro Ozi Kebariadavash. Repa Pareke de 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 in Jesus' name, we are praying. I think the atmosphere is conducive now. Can we have our seat? Amen. Briefly, before we go into relating with wisdom, before we go into relating with wisdom, I want to share some burdens with you. While I was seated today, the Lord... Um, the Lord said some things to me, and I want to quickly share with you. Praise the Lord. Would you, would you love to hear? Praise God. <laughs> Amen. So since it was the Lord sharing things with me, you know, I have to write it to show that I'm flowing. So I'm going to read those things from my daughter. Now, he said, signs to show 
that the devil is messing with your heart. That's what he called it. He says signs to show that the devil is what? Is messing with your heart. Meaning signs to show that the devil is playing with your heart. Amen. Number one, the first thing the Lord told me, he said, trying to remember a past that God has forgiven. Are you there? The first thing he told me, he said, trying to remember a past that God has forgiven. Whether you are doing it to yourself or to others, is a sign that the devil is working on your heart. I'm going to explain to you. Trying to remember what? A past that what? That God has forgiven is a what? Is a sign to show that your heart is under attack. Whether you are doing it to yourself or to others, something is wrong with your heart. Do you know there are some people that even after God has forgiven them, they still find it hard to forgive themselves. Have you found out people like that? Have you seen such people before? It's a sign that there is something the devil is doing on the person's heart. If God has forgiven you, then why should you not what? Forgive yourself. So anytime you see a, a person who, have, who is finding it hard to forgive his herself, is a sign that the heart of that person is what? It's under attack. Because God has what? He has forgiven you. Are you getting what I'm saying? Now, the crucial part is to other people. As a matter of fact, that was why the Lord gave me this statement. Let me give you an example. Let's assume that this my friend formerly, maybe this my friend formerly, okay, let me not use him. Praise God. Let me just speak generally. Let's assume we have a brother who is a thief. Are you there? He steals anything stealable. He just steals everything. And now he met Jesus. Meanwhile, he had stolen to a point that he, he now became popular. The gospel of the stealing now spread across. <laughs> I guess what I'm saying. So they did not know him as a preacher, they knew him as a thief. Now he gave his life to Christ, following God. Do you know that such a person, there are people that will not be blessed under his ministrations. Even when God is using him, they will be remembering how he was still. Such people are witches and wizards. That's witchcraft. See, you, don't, you may think witchcraft is about flying in the night. No. The moment your heart is no longer right with God, you are moving into witchcraft. Anything that is not of God is witchcraft. Are you getting what I'm saying? God has forgiven a person of his past. Okay, she was a prostitute. Now she's in Christ. She's singing. You are not singing. In your mind, say, if another person come, me, this one, never. You are a witch. Oh. Never remember a past that God has forgiven. If you can still hold on to a past that God has forgiven, the devil is working on your heart. Are you getting what I'm saying? That's the truth. Because everyone has a past. That's why we were not born saints. Am I right? If God has forgotten the past, forget it. Tell your neighbor, if God has forgotten the past, if God has forgotten the past then, forget it. then forget it. Maybe there are even people here who are, who are doing this same thing I'm saying. You know a brother in your church, he fell into sin and he was caught. He was suspended. Now, God has forgiven him. But anytime he comes up to take Sunday school, you just find anything. That's why you remember there's one tattoo that uh, you need to reply. You are, you are, if you are a male, you are a female, you are moving into gradually becoming a witch. And if you are a male, of course, a what? A wizard. We have to be careful. Once again, any past that God has forgiven, don't remember. Forget it. Are you there? If God can forgive the person, take your heart off it. 
I don't know why I'm saying this thing. But I pray the Lord will help us in Jesus' name. The second thing the Lord said to me, another sign to show that the devil is working on your heart is, if you find it hard to forgive. No, you see, if, 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 you, if that is your own case, eh? see, the devil has a stool. You know what we call stool? <laughs> a short stool, oh, not a very long way short. You know stool? That's short. That you know stool? <laughs> the devil has gotten a stool and is sitting <laughs> in your heart. No, hey, listen to me. There is no legality for unforgiveness. Are you there? Whatever makes it legal is not of God. It's not from God. Are you getting what I'm saying? And what he did to me pained me so I cannot forgive. No. Because your sin pained God and he still brought Jesus. So who are you not to forgive? When our sin pained God, the way God reacted to the pain was by sending Jesus. You now, what the person did pained you, you, you begin to fight. And after the fight, you now confess, I am the righteousness of God. You, <laughs> Maybe you are the wretchedness, I don't know. But if you are the righteousness, then we know what to do. Number two, if you find it hard to what? To forgive. The devil is playing on your heart. He has a stool there. Please never forget this. There's no legality for what? For unforgiveness. You don't have any reason to, to, to keep a person in your heart and say, this one I will not forgive. You don't have a reason. Because Jesus, because God gave us Jesus as a sign to show that he's ready to forgive. So why won't you forgive? Number two. nothing is correct number three now this is number three sign to show that the devil is playing on your heart if nothing is correct except you are involved your heart is not right there are some people that nothing is ever right except it is coming from them are you there when you are when you, say, when you just share something they say what what is this saying okay 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 then they now come up have you <laughs> Have you seen such scenarios before? They will now come up and rubbish everything and say, Well, uh, maybe the maybe the man said, Well, uh, <clears throat> you know, Jesus is the son of uh, the great God. They will now come up and come and talk down on it. Are you there? They just believe you cannot be right except from who? Except it is there. You, you can't, it cannot be right except it is coming from me. That is a wrong impression. Are you there? Others can also be right. Are you there? We will need ourselves to journey into perfection. Are you getting what I'm saying? If you are the only one that is right, then you don't need to learn. And if you are not learning, you are dying. There's no, there's no other thing. You are what? You are dying. Not learning is dying. Learning is what? Living. So if you are the type that you believe nothing is correct except it's coming from you, your heart is under attack. There are people that believe nothing is perfect except it's coming from them. Even when others come to sing, they just say, well, ah, God, what, what is this person singing? Well, I know if I'm there, this thing will change. Why, why are they doing like this? Everything is just dull. If I come there, your heart is not right. Number four, if you are corrected for something, if you are corrected for something that is wrong, and you know that it is wrong, you are corrected for something that is wrong, and you know that it is wrong, but yet you continued in that wrong act deliberately. The devil is working on your heart. Are you getting what I'm saying? If it happens once, we can call it a mistake. But it happens over and over again. That's no longer a what? It's no longer a mistake. It has become what? Habit.
they corrected you for something are you getting what i'm saying you know it is wrong and you still continued the devil is playing ludo in your heart number what now am i going number five attacking every good thing you see is a sign that your heart is under attack are you there attacking what every good thing you see is a what is a sign that your heart is under attack there are see let me tell you even when listen if somebody buys a car are you there even when the source of the money even when you know that the source of the money for the car is not godly are you there still show the person love are you there then after the show of love then you bring out the rod of correction are you there but the way some people do it they just attack you you won't you won't you won't bear fruit like that even when you know the person is wrong what's the first thing to do show love then the next thing is what after showing love then you come out with what the rod of correction of course we know that any love that cannot correct is not correct am i right i hope you know that any love that cannot what correct is not correct somebody say i love you but they can't correct you that love is not correct it's a wrong love <laughs> are you getting it well i know you are wrong girl, but i just decided not to correct you because of my love for you which kind of love is that one a fake any love that cannot correct is not what is not correct so what's the fifth one i i what's the fifth statement yes is what is a sign that your heart is on that so even when you know what the person is doing is wrong what's the first thing you do show love maybe i've said this before a brother called me and he was shaking it was in the night in the gym are they hear me many years some years ago what happened he was shaking i sat instead of him sitting he went on his knee what happened he was shaking kidney he was shaking what he said hey my fiance okay hey i went to our is a somebody you can call a man of god he has ministry yes i went to akura okay and so maybe the program i could not come back to hondo okay i now slept in our place okay <laughs> you know some things you already know the head but you will say okay okay you will say it with your own mouth <laughs> please don't conclude for people are you getting what i'm saying somebody came to you and they are trying to uh, actually I, I, you know, say you fell into it. Then say, no, no, no. I, you feel ashamed. Yeah? <laughs> Are you there? Some of you must have done it before. First, you send it to the bag. Oh my God! You wear this thing. What did you do? You wear this thing. That's, did you? Uh, no, no. Uh. <laughs> so don't help people to conclude. Let them say it themselves. So the brother was saying. Uh, yes, and I said, what up? I knew what would have happened. I was saying, what up? Uh, I now slept in the place. Okay. <laughs> this movie is getting interesting. Okay, you slept there. It's a good thing to sleep in the night. Too. What up? <laughs> and I said, something now. There's a lot of something, though. Is it that you sign God, you pray? He said, good. He now told me. And he was crying. What did I do? What, now, what do you expect him to do? I should shout on him. Say, hey, the devil. What? See, you are in the mouth of the devil like this. He will show you. <laughs> do you know that condemning others is, is also a sign that your heart is not right? I'm not joking. 
see <laughs> anything you try to be hypocrite about you are likely to come back and fall into that sin are you guessing it most of the people that are condemning others they themselves they are living in sin so what are you, you come to fornication <laughs> you, you don't need to go to church again you, you you are going to hell there's nothing about it you will go to hell hey, 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 hey. so when he said that i looked at him i said well the devil has done what he wants to do but jesus loves you and we pray together i showed him what love i did not condemn him with just one word like this i made him know that this thing is from the devil this thing happened i get what i'm saying now listen to me because some of you may not get what i'm saying i'm not saying you should papa say no there's a place of discipline are you get what i'm saying we will also discipline in love any kind of discipline you claim you are doing without love is not discipline are you there it's a show of hatred it's condemnation are you there the difference between correction and condemnation is love in correction there is love in condemnation love is absent that's the difference so when I say correct, I'm saying add love. You get what I'm saying? Now, he has become one of these reverend, I think of recent he came to Ondo for something. And God is helping him. Do you know that thing that happened led to pregnancy? I'm telling you. The brother called me and said, they had to do impromptu introduction that was the first time i went to modakeke in my life <laughs> Amen. <laughs> many of you you only want to share in the glory are you there if you are a true mentor even when the the the, the real time to know a father or a mentor is in trouble time can they still identify with you when you mess up? If no, then they are not qualified to be submitted to you. There are some people, the only time they will identify with you is in your glory days. That's my son. That he is the one, can you see? He, he, that brother that just spoke in tongue. And when he was tonguing, rain was falling. When he stopped tonguing, the rain stopped. He's my son. That one is my son. But nobody. Are you getting what I'm saying? It was at this junction the brother came to pick me. <laughs> we, we drove. <laughs> and the road was rough. You were just like this. <laughs> but I went there. And I don't eat in parties. That day I have to defy the rule. Because you are coming from the husband's side. You need to eat their food to show that you have accepted our girl. <laughs> I have no choice. <laughs> what? The Lord will help us today. What am I saying? Correction and condemnation. The difference between the two of them is what? Love. So attacking every good thing you see is a sign that the devil is what? Smoking. Number what are we going now? Encouraging people to keep malice with others because you are doing so is witchcraft. That one is common. <laughs> I've traveled to a place before as I was entering. So, welcome, welcome. They cooked for me, oh, my sister. Mm. She, she cooked and welcomed me. I felt at home. Suddenly I went out and I was greeting some children. Ah, my friend, you know I love children. What are you doing? When I finished and I entered, she draws me and says, That woman, I don't talk to her. That one, I don't talk to her. Please, don't also talk to her. That was where we begin to have issues. <laughs> because I want to be obedient. But in that part, I could not keep that part of the commandment. You know, it's another commandment. <laughs> God gave Moses 10 commandments. But the commandment now is more than 10. So he gave me one out of, I don't know the commandment she has. He said, thou shall not greet that woman. <laughs> that woman. And the son. And the children. I said, I'm sorry. 
I will keep the other part of the command. But please permit me to break this one. <laughs> Praise God. That you are fighting with a person does not mean everybody that comes around you should fight. Why are you fighting in the first place? You are wrong and you still want others to be wrong. That's witchcraft. It's just like you have poison. You are drinking the poison and you are not drinking alone. And like everybody join me. This thing is, heaven is real. Let's go and see. <laughs> Praise God. Number what now? Okay, I think I have two more. So we are going to number seven or six? Seven. If you can say in the absence of a person what you cannot say in the presence of that person, the devil is playing on your heart. This one is common. Man of God, see, as far as this life is concerned, after Jesus that came to die, you are the next. You are the next greatest. In the kingdom, in the kingdom, your greatness is more than that of John the Baptist. Now I'm saying, eh? I'm telling you the truth. I don't know. Ah, that's it. Then when the man now lives, he's fake. That thing you are doing is witchcraft. Yes. Anything you know that you cannot say in the presence of a person, don't bother saying it in the absence. Have you been in a situation before where somebody came and said, This is what this person said in your absence? And they say, Say it again. And the next thing is, MMM. M. 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 Hallelujah. Don't say in a person's absence what you cannot say where in their presence that's witchcraft the last point number now this one is concerning leadership The demand from a leader is not ungodly. Don't fight it. Are you there? If the demand from what? From a leader. Maybe you are in admin group and a leader is suggesting something. Maybe you are in one group or the other and your leader is suggesting something. Once the what? The what? The demand is not ungodly. Don't do what? Don't fight. Let me continue this reading, then I will explain. Even if you can't meet up with that demand at the moment, you can trust God for help. If everything you want to do are things within your limits, then when when will you go beyond your limits? Are you getting that point? Many people fight demands because they feel it will make them stretch. They don't want to stretch, but they want to be great. They don't want to do the extra, but they want to be extraordinary. Is it possible? You cannot do the extraordinary until you are ready to do the extra. The extra means going beyond what others are doing. If you do the same thing everybody is doing, you look like everybody. But the moment you begin to do extras, you start becoming different the difference is in the extra are you getting what i'm saying the lord will help us in jesus name. please don't forget if you have any questions just get a sheet of paper document the questions we're going to ensure that we, we collect all the questions before the meeting ends can we pray in two minutes before we uh do reading with wisdom in the you know the remaining few minutes that we have how bow our heads and pray in the spirit please if you have questions write it in your paper pass it to any of the people standing can you pray briefly just pray in your spirit